Guerra por ahí, acopio por ahí. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Let me say that today, the ongoing transformation, not only of our security sector organs, but also of our industrial capacity as a country, yields again fresh fruit as we mark a major milestone in the effort to sustainably commercialize Kenya's ocean and blue economy resources through the commissioning of this shipyard. This shipyard, as we have all heard, is a culmination of dedicated hard work and commitment from both the KDF and their partners, Damen of Netherlands, who have actively worked together to have us reach this point. Having commenced four years ago, this completion heralds a new chapter in shipbuilding and repair in Kenya, and I do believe this will also form the bedrock for our sustainable transformation of our ocean and blue economy. The shipyard that we are commissioning today, as we again have heard, has the capacity to design and build new ships, refit, retrofit, convert, repair, maintain, as well as undertake other civil and modular maritime services for vessels. The direct and induced impacts of the shipyard, I do believe will create many good jobs for our young people, but also generate diverse investment opportunities that are related to shipbuilding, and therefore not only expand job opportunities, but also raise revenue for our country. As one of the Kenya Shipyard's limited, facili uh, uh, limited facilities, the shipyard, again as we have been told, will also serve public and private commercial shipping interests, not just here in Kenya, but in the East Indian Ocean Rim and well beyond. This is really a great shot in the arm for our quest to enhance the contribution of the blue economy to our national development. Other subsectors of the blue economy, which include maritime transport, logistics, fisheries, as well as shipbuilding and repair, I do believe represent low-hanging fruits that must be exploited by our country. However, we must be truthful that the potential for leveraging this sector is largely inhibited by shackles that we ourselves have placed on it, including failure to keep abreast with changes in markets and practices. This is an untenable solution, quite apart from rendering us regionally and globally uncompetitive. It locks out our people from exploiting and benefiting from this sector. This is the case even where we have historical and contemporary competencies which have been left idle to our detriment as a country. And we are therefore challenged to tear down these constraints, including all unnecessary and incompatible tax and regulatory burdens, so that this sector is unleashed to thrive and grow. So today, through UCAS, I direct the Cabinet Secretary of the National Treasury and Planning in conjunction with General Madede, the head of the Ocean and Blue Economy Office, to immediately convene and to coordinate all the relevant agencies of government and to deliver on the following. The first of these 
is a comprehensive national seafarers training program that is designed to produce at least 4,000 suitably qualified seafarers and a suitable cabotage regulations aligned with those of the East African community and the African Union. The second is we want an open ship register and a ship repair and building uh, incentive package. The third is a ship bunkering and channeling package that provides modalities for ensuring robust oil bunkering for ships, both domestic and foreign, calling on our ports and also those passing through our oceans. And fourth, a fiscal framework, zero rating import of fishing vessels in order to enhance investment in this subsector. These two offices are expected to report back to me with an implementation framework before the end of January 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, if we are to maximize the dividends of the investments we are making, I also urge county governments in the coastal region to draw up their own strategies to strengthen maritime commercial activities such as fishing, tourism, and transport. By so doing, it will be possible to unlock the enormous business potential that abounds within Kenya's territorial waters and our coastal strip. On our part as a national government, we will continue to cooperate with like-minded stakeholders to sustainably exploit the natural resources available within our maritime borders with high quality facilities in Kisumu and Mombasa. I today also urge Kenyans to fully utilize them to repair, maintain, and service their boats, but also to construct new ships and boats here locally. I also challenge the Kenya Shipyards Limited to cast their net wider and tap into the promising regional market. As I conclude, I take this opportunity to appreciate all our stakeholders who have worked tirelessly over the last four years to make this dream a reality. The Kenya Defense Forces, Diamond, who are their strategic partners, as well as all other stakeholders have delivered a world-class shipping yard, not just within budget, but also ahead of schedule. To the county government of Mombasa, the people, we are grateful to you for your hospitality and support. This project, I believe, will join the ranks of many others that we have undertaken in the coastal region as we seek to create jobs and to deepen the economic development of the coastal region and Kenya as a whole. Malizia ni kushukuru tu wale wote ambao wamehusika CDF wewe na watu yako service commanders navy commander nimshukuru pia eh hata nyinyi mko hapo hapo eh eh nimshukuru pia CDF mstaafu General Samson Mwadhede ambaye pia ameshughulikia hii project na amechangia kipande kikubwa sana na pia former navy commander tunawashukuru hawa wote na kusema ya kwamba tukitaka kuendelea kama taifa tuwezi kuendelea tukiwa sisi bado tutakuwa watu ambao wananunua vitu kutoka inchi za inji furaha yangu ni kuona vijana wale wote ambao wanafanya kazi hapa pamoja na wenzao wa dame na miaka michache facility hii wale wote ambao watakuwa wanajenga wana, wana, wana hizi meli wale wanafanya design za hizi meli watakuwa wa Afrika wa Kenya wenzetu watoto wetu wana uwezo ni nafasi ambayo hatuwapati na tukitaka kuhakikisha ya kwamba tume a truly industrialized nation a truly upper middle income country there is no way we shall achieve that without industrializing Kwa hivyo vile mimi nasemanga sana siasa chache kazi mingi tufanye hivyo wenzetu 
hakuna lolote ambalo hatuwezi kutimiza kwa hivyo shukrani tena pongezi heko kwa wale wote ambao wamehusika kwa huu mradi ni siku ya furaha ni siku ya kujivunia tukiwa nchi moja kati ya chache tu katika Afrika hii yetu ambao sasa wako na uwezo wa kujenga na kutengeneza meli zao and i think this is something we should all be very proud of kwa hayo machache na mengi mimi nasema muwe na siku kuu njema hongera tena kwa wote na mwaka ujao uwe wafanaka na baraka nyingi na amani nyingi kwa wananchi wote wa Kenya asanteni sana <laughs>